Do you worry about money at all? Thoughts on birth control? Your first kiss story. It's already, it's it's already hot in here. Or welcome if you're brand new this is my bestie Ooh, and bestie. <laughs> we're getting like ready to go to dinner so we were like let's film a juicy q a juicy juicy so i asked you guys to ask me questions on instagram and on youtube community so we've got a lot here we go <laughs> my hair already falling out the awkward guys thing. i'm still trying to figure out the dyson air wrap so like just bear with me with some pieces being straight some being curly the frizz if you know how to be professional with your dyson air wrap let me know as always, whatever we say is our personal opinions, our thoughts, everyone has their own, but this is just going to be fun, so let's get into it. <laughs> let's get into it. First question is, is anything on your body fake? Oh. No. No? I don't like have any surgery or hip replacements oh, no. or like implants. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I thought about hip replacements because my mom, Yeah. but I don't have any like fake boobs. These are freaking real. <laughs> I don't have lash extensions or anything like that. Yeah, me either. I yeah. used to do lash extensions. Yeah, me too. Expensive. I just they're expensive, they're like four hundred dollars, and also that's just an extra step in a routine that I don't want to dwell in. Like I don't want to. Yeah. Like hair extensions too. I used to have hair extensions last year, and you could not catch me doing those now because I just think for me they just look so unnatural, and I want my hair to feel like there's not something woven through it. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. it's just personal preference. <laughs> If I'm saving myself for marriage, how do I tackle that talk with a guy? This is a really good question. <laughs> that is a good question. Yeah. I mean, open, honest communication, mm -hmm. always number one. And if he doesn't respect your boundary, then he's not the one. Like, if he's not willing to respect and see it through, then yikes. It's true. <laughs> Gotta go. I would definitely pray, lean on the Holy Spirit throughout your conversation, ask God to open up a conversation for that to happen because you don't want to just like throw it out there. It's definitely a subject that is not common and normal in this day and age. Like it's not normal to save yourself. It's not normal to, I feel like have self-respect anymore. Not that you have to do that to have self-respect, but just in general, I feel like anything that revolves like wanting something for yourself, like it's not respected anymore. Yeah. So I feel like for sure it's you gotta like have grace and yeah. just be willing to hear someone out because like for someone who may not be in like the same faith as you like that might be something like they're not willing to step foot in so but then i think you know you work things out you try to compromise whatever you can and just yeah <laughs> it's hard. It's really hard. Yeah. It's an uncomfortable conversation for sure. Yeah, I guess it would be uncomfortable if you're unsure about how the other person is mm -hmm. going to feel about it. But I mean, if you're both equally yoked, you're both Christians, I feel like it's like, yeah. it won't be as intimidating. So it depends on the person. Definitely. Yeah. Um, and from my experience having that conversation, like it was fully understood and it's yeah. fully respected on both ends. So I bet that's like a rare thing to have with someone I feel like nowadays. But yeah, that's just what we would say to do. <laughs> Do you wash your hands every time you pee? <laughs> no. I don't think, if you do, like, props if, to if you. you. Yeah, if you do, that's amazing. I definitely don't. Because sometimes, like, I just have to quickly pee, and I literally only touch the toilet paper. Now, if I'm out and about, yes. If I'm, like, out at a restaurant, but, like, at home, mm, no. Like, if I have to pee, I'm going to just go pee real quick and then, yeah. like, come out. Save water. <laughs> <laughs> Save that t 10 cents. Save that 10 cents for sure. Now that I'm a homeowner, I'm like, hmm, how can I save money? It's funny. What do you do when you're always the initiator and friendships likes to hang out and it's not re 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 reciprocated? Sorry. <laughs> Ooh, this is a freaking good one because I used to be the person who's always initiating things with a certain <clears throat> someone. <laughs> someone. I used to always be. It That's still crazy. is most times me. And I just, you know what, like, I came to the realization, like, I'm not going to keep begging for someone. I'm not going to keep, like, asking you to hang out. Like, if you don't feel like you can make time for me, like, you desire to hang with me, like, you're not it for me. Friendship, relationship, whatever it is. Like, sorry, like, yeah. that's how I feel. I like, I'm not going to always be the one to ask you to hang out. Wait, imagine they think you're talking about me. No. <laughs> I'm not talking about Cecily. So awkward. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about her. But, like, it's just, it's so annoying, like, always feeling like... And if they always say no and you just feel like it's a burden, like, oh, maybe I just won't ask anymore. Yeah. Because they don't make the time for you. So, like, if it's not, like, a two-way street, then goodbye. 
I think with any friendship, like, you have to be intentional about that friendship. Yes. So if they're not being Absolutely. intentional, then, like, it's hard to be intentional back. Yeah. That because goes for relationships, too. Yeah. Too. Even sometimes I need to catch myself. And sometimes, like, life gets so busy and I kind of just focus on myself. And there's times I'm like, wait, I need to, like, spend some time with my friends. Because it's just like any relationship, just like a boyfriend. Yeah, you have to, like, um, water it every single day. Yeah. And that's why we're going on a date night. <laughs> <laughs> we are going on a date night tomorrow. So yeah. exciting. <laughs> Team cake or pie? Joey said to choose wisely on this one. Oh my gosh. I'm scared. This is Joey? Yeah. Okay. Team cake or pie? I think pie, ugh, but it's so hard. It depends what type of pie. I feel like for me, like, I always love a slice of cake, but I feel like I always get pie, like key lime pie. I just like key lime pie at a restaurant versus molten lava cake. Yeah. So like, I chose pie. <laughs> chose pie. Pie seems more like, de not delicate. What's that word? Decadent. Something like that. Yeah, I don't know. I would. I don't know. I feel like they're so equal in my eyes. Yeah, that's a hard one. I, I'm gonna pick pie. It's my final answer. I'm gonna go with pie. <laughs> I don't know if I'm too Text sure. Of. Thoughts on birth control? Okay, it's a good one. Okay, my thoughts. Just to sum it up really quickly. For me. Not good for your body. Something you shouldn't be inserting in your body. There's other ways to heal your hormones naturally. Good. Um, <laughs> I think it depends. I mean, I, I know think, some people have to have it. Right. Like my best friend Sarah, well, she has to have it. Mm -hmm. Understood. Yeah. And I mean, if you are having a lot of sex, you're probably gonna want to have it. Mm -hmm. But there are safe ways to have sex. Also, you can just like cycle sync with your natural cycle. I know so many people who do that. Yeah. And although it's more dangerous. I mean, I personally decided to take my birth control out this year. I stopped taking mine last year, almost a year. Yeah. And I feel so much better. I feel, yeah, I feel like a lot of girls are deciding to do that. I feel like we're like, a lot of the community is becoming a little bit more holistic and like mm -hmm. more aware of like what they're putting in their body and their health and stuff. And I had a lot of horrible side effects with birth control. So that was like one of my biggest reasons in getting off. And plus I wasn't active. So like there was like no reason for me to be on it. And I could just feel so much better like being off of it, like not having to take that pill and that kind of thing. So those are my thoughts, but it's understandable. Like everyone's health is so different. So like never feel like because someone's opinion, like you shouldn't be doing something. Like yeah. it's, it's your body. Like you can literally do whatever you want. It's your body. What is your favorite thing about each other? <laughs> Good question. Uh, favorite thing about Bella? Hmm. I think she's so caring. Sweet. <laughs> like, I mean, you're always like giving and she cooks dinner for me almost every night. I'm so thankful. Um, <laughs> she definitely like cares of things about me, like mm -hmm. her friends and Aww. holds them pretty highly. <laughs> you're sweet. <laughs> oh, you're sweet. Why is that a thing like we don't like ever yeah? we don't like ever talk highly of each other really or like we don't ever really hug or like we don't ever like it's just like not something we do. <laughs> but so I think that's a normal thing. Yeah, I think it's normal. <laughs> the favorite thing about you is that if you say you're gonna do something, Ooh. you most likely do it. <laughs> Like, not like putting on the oven for me last night, but like bigger things. Like if you say yeah. you're not gonna have alcohol, like you're literally not gonna have it. <laughs> if you say you're not gonna do this, like you won't do it. Yeah. If anything like is a hindrance to your faith, you won't do it. Aw, I like that. <laughs> that is my favorite thing about her. Okay. Your first period story, I literally don't remember mine. I don't remember oh, ever having like my first period. Really? I do remember though, going through like a whole box of tampons, trying to figure out how to put it in. Oh. Now I'm a pro. <laughs> but like, it literally took me forever to try to figure out like, how does this work? Me too, I, I, I was putting it wrong. Me too. I was in the opposite way and I was like, why is the string on that side? It was just wrong. <laughs> no, horrible. I didn't know you're supposed to insert it and then squeeze it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Anyways, well, mine's not anything crazy. I was just like at my friend's house and it started to happen and I yeah. was like really embarrassed. And my, I called my mom in the bathroom. I was like, Mom, what do I do? And she's like, Go tell your friend and your her mom and see if they have any pads. And I was so embarrassed. Why so humiliated? Yeah. <laughs> when I was like, it's so normal. It's so like, normal. if I ever need a tampon, like, I will literally go up to someone and be like, oh, Yeah. Do I have a tampon? Yeah. Because I'm just like not afraid anymore. Like, it's period. It's I'm normal. thankful I'm able to have one, you know? So that's how I look at it. What is y'all's fave thing to do together? I feel like what we're doing tonight, we yeah. also like love doing random spontaneous things. Mm -hmm. We like to plan things, yes, but like when it comes to like, we're both home on a Saturday, like we know we're both gonna be home, but we won't plan anything because we wake up and we're like, oh, let's go to St. Pete for the day, get coffee, get lunch, mm -hmm. let's go to pottery, like 
like yeah, things yeah, yeah. like that. Fun activities. Yeah, like just like fun things that don't involve alcohol and stuff is like what we like to do. Yeah. Because <laughs> like that doesn't need to be in every thing you do. True. So like finding fun things outside of that is fun. Yeah. How many times did I say fun? Fun. Fun count is like 10 right now. <laughs> Three things you need on a daily basis from a guy. Hmm, interesting. Wow, okay. I've got one. Okay, you go. I'll do one, you do one. Okay. okay. First one, I need affirmations. I need, you're beautiful, I love you, you have a kind heart. Just like things like that. Like, I just need that ooey gooey gushiness <laughs> every single day. That's just something that women need. Yeah, I feel like every day waking up, like an intentional text, like good morning. Yes. Oh my just God. Be, yes. Like, so you know that they want to know how you slept. Like, they You're care. Like, yeah, they care. And it's never a question like, how did you sleep? It's never a question that like is annoying. It's always yeah. a question that's like, oh, well, actually like, last night wasn't good. Oh, why? Oh, well, my anxiety was high. Like that one question opens like a whole can of worms. Yeah. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. I feel like that's a really good one. Another thing that I feel like I need on a daily basis. Well, because I'm long distance with my boyfriend, for me, like I need constant communication. Not like every minute, every hour, whatever. If he's busy for a few hours, he'll be like, hey, talk to you in like three hours or whatever. Like I'm busy on a project at work. So like I understand that, but like constant communication, like, hey, I'm at work or hey, I'm on break or I'm headed to lunch. Like acting like we're in the same area is important for me. So yeah. like communication every single day, like good communication, yeah. high quality communication. Yeah. Like tough conversations to honesty. Mm -hmm. um, On a daily basis, yeah, honesty for sure. Yeah, I guess because I'm single, so <laughs> let's see. So um, natural. <laughs> she's available. Probably like praying together. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would want yeah. that. Definitely on a daily basis for sure. Yeah. Daily basis, communication number one. Mm -hmm. Affirmations number two. Yeah. I feel like a third is just like fun, like never stop like laughing, like on a daily basis, like I need to laugh with you, like I need to like crack a joke, like I just need that like banter back yeah. and forth, it's good. Keep the spice, it's gotta stay spicy, <laughs> if it doesn't stay spicy, it's not nicey. <laughs> wow, words from Bella. <laughs> Put it on a shirt. <laughs> That'd be a good one. No, it really would. You should start making merch. I want to at some point. Thumbs up if she should make merch. Yeah. Okay, next question is, how did you meet your boyfriend and do you guys plan on moving to be closer together? So we're gonna do like a video probably in a few months once he's a little bit more comfortable with the camera. There's like no rush, you know, it's like definitely a whole different lifestyle popping up a camera and filming yourself and editing it. So I understand. But how did we meet? Like to give it like in layman's terms, four and a half years ago, he's like best friends with my cousin's husband. They came down for an XFL game. I was living in Lakeland, Florida, first year of college. My cousin was like, hey, we're going to Green Lemon, which is like the best restaurant here in Tampa. And I was like, oh, cool. So like my brothers and I met up with them. We kind of like flirted the whole night. Mm -hmm. I was just 19 and he was just 20. And we were just in two totally different like times of our lives. But so we met then and we like followed each other on Instagram. It was like very like innocent, whatever. And then over the years, it kind of just developed into something more. <laughs> And now we're dating. Mm -hmm. ah. And I'm gonna go see him in like two days, ah. which I'm so excited for. It's kind of hard being long distance, but yeah. yes, it is gonna end soon. He's planning on- It's gonna end soon. <laughs> it's gonna end <laughs> soon. He's planning on moving to Tampa, God willing. So we're just working on all that stuff and trying to get him here, so. Yeah. yeah. Fun stuff, Fun guys. stuff. What would you say to your fave celebrity if you met them? I don't have a fave celebrity. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like I really like random celebrities, like random people. I don't oh, know. Miley Cyrus. Oh, what would you say? Oh my God, I would just tell her that. I'm not good at this stuff. I love how open she is. Mm -hmm. And like, she literally doesn't care what anyone thinks. That's true. Which is amazing. It's like something like a lot of us need to start embodying. Yeah, I'm like really awkward in front of people. Mm -hmm. Like, especially a celebrity. I probably wouldn't even go up to them. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have that, that top celebrity either where I would see them and be like, oh my gosh. Yeah, I mean, like, my entire so I kind of. Well, actually, we saw Noah Beck. Remember that? Yeah, we saw Noah Beck and he winked at us. Like, he would not stop staring at us. And we saw him at Disney. Oh my God. We didn't go to yeah. Disney. Back, last summer, we went to Disney and Noah Beck was like, like sitting at Mount Everest with his sister. No way. And we were the next person to like load into the coaster and he was about to take off. And he made eye contact with her. And then he made it with me. Mm -hmm. And he was going back and forth and he was just like, yeah. Like he was in awe of us. It was really funny. Was. And I was like, 
oh, there's no way Noah got past the hots for us. I mean, no, he's not that, like, I just like, I just not, nah. any type of person now that's not my boyfriend, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you're ugly. I'm not a fan of you. Well, yeah, because you start to just, yeah. I just like, I'm so focused yeah. on him. Like, that's all I. That's good. Yeah. No lusting. No. <laughs> no hair. Hey. Let's see. Do you worry about money at all? I'll let you answer this one. Okay, so honestly though, my budgeting app helps me so much. It makes like- She's a budget. I am a budgeter. I don't know, it gives me peace knowing where my money's going, mm -hmm. how much I'm spending. If I what, didn't, didn't use a budgeting app. You um, feel like- Oh yeah. yeah, I feel like I'd be way more stressed because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in grad school and I barely have a job. I'm like living off my savings, trying to just finish grad school. So mm -hmm. like I should be way more stressed, but my budgeting app helps me. I mean, God helps me, he always provides. So I feel like you've I, always like been put in really good positions. Yeah, where you don't have to and I have stress. a lot of good family support. They, yeah, they help me. Yeah. So I mean, sometimes yeah, but yeah, yeah I mean, I give it to God. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, that's all I can do. There's no point in stressing over money. Like yeah, I mean, unless like you're. It's it's really cool though, like two different lives, mm -hmm. and how like, we both are like in the same boat in the sense that like. It's just weird. It's mm -hmm. like the two different lives that we live and it's like we're both just chilling. It's never like something where we take money and it's like such a big problem or it's something that like, we're like idolizing ever. I mean, I personally don't worry about money. I've been put in like great positions in life. God has like really blessed our family. But that doesn't mean that I'm like just throwing it away at everything that I could. Like I'm still someone like obviously you guys see that I buy crazy stuff. But like I'm not spending money on things that like I just don't think are for me. Does that make sense? Like it's designer right. stuff might be stupid to them or someone watching, but for me it's not. So yeah. like, that's being a good steward of my money. Yeah, I gotcha. And so like I'm not like stupid in the sense like I spend right. thousands of dollars on things that are not gonna hold my value or value mm -hmm. of something. Yeah, I guess the way you grow up will determine how mm -hmm. you value money and mm -hmm. so it's different for everybody, but it's always been like something my parents just always taught us like no matter what you have or what you don't have it's never a big deal yeah like having all the money in the world but you're still sad but like having no money but you're still happy it's like there's always balance to have your first kiss story God, oh God. joey's gonna be watching this <laughs> is it he your first kiss joey's not my first oh kiss. i was so confused for a second i was like absolutely oh. not <laughs> <laughs> oh, is yours like a good juicy one? Mine is like, cause my I'm... brother was, is yours juicy? No. Oh, mine's juicy a little. Okay, so my brother had a girlfriend and it was the girlfriend's brother that I was dating. <laughs> but this was like, we were like 15. Okay. And so I was turning 16 because I wasn't allowed to have my first kiss until I was 16. <laughs> so my brother was in a relationship and I liked her brother. And so then we were dating, we were like, it was weird. And it was after church, I was going to Chicago with my cousin and my mom. And it was like after church and he was like, I'm gonna kiss you. And I was like, okay. I'm gonna kiss you. And I had just turned 16. And so then he took me to the back of the church <laughs> and like pushed me up against no, the, brick, ah! the brick wall like, like that and like just that shoved was... his tongue down my throat. Oh, it was so gosh. gross. And don't be wrong, I'm all for some tongue. But like from an unexperienced 16 year old, yeah, like two cute. unexperienced 16 year olds, it was just like, that's a lot. It was gross. That's I was like, I was sitting there, I was like, Oh my god. It was gross. Um, mine was not like that. Mine was just, I was like 13. I was, was like a peck? Yeah. Mine was like, hack. No. It was so gross. Mine was like, I was walking my neighbor home because we were playing in my yard. <laughs> and I walked him home and we just like, Kiss and then it was like okay and like walked away. Like, so crazy. Like you're so young. Yeah, I you just like don't think about it. Like I was really young. <laughs> no, my parents if they watch this they'll be like, oh my gosh, that's like ew. Yeah, they had no idea. No, they didn't play. That's crazy. <sighs> Um, first kiss stories are like always <laughs> so interesting, but like it's not a big deal. It's a first kiss. It's gonna happen, and I feel like a lot of people overhype it. But yeah. also, like even after so many kisses that like aren't with someone that you're interested in, and then you finally have someone that you're interested in, like that's like a first kiss. Like mm -hmm. those jitters that you get, like oh my god, me kissing Joey for the first time. Remember all the, yeah. <laughs> all of the situations where I would be like, oh no, like he would like we would both go, and I'm like no. <laughs> that's because like I was so 
nervous because I liked him so much and I knew it was like a real thing. And yeah, so it's a lot It's different. like you get those like first kiss jitters with someone, even if you had like a million kisses, yeah. you think you get those first kiss jitters with someone that you're gonna be with. It's just such a, a cool feeling. Aw, that's cute. I still get it now even though like, we've been together for, we've been talking for over a year. Aww. But, like dating since November. So yeah. I still get those. Like when I kiss him, I'm just like, eh! <laughs> girl, I love it. Yeah, so if your first kiss was ruined, don't worry. It, it you'll get it. You, yeah, you'll get that feeling back, I promise. <laughs> okay, guys, that is it for our juicy, spicy Q&A. This was fun. We definitely should do another one soon. So if you guys have any questions, then drop them in the comment section in this video. And then I'll put a poll up the day or the day before that I'm filming on my Instagram. So definitely go follow me over there. Her. Her. Also, Sassy has a podcast. Oh my gosh. If you guys stay to the end of this video, which I'll put in the beginning too, she has a podcast called Glory to Glory. Mm -hmm. And you guys should go listen to it. Oh, thanks. Yes. I'll link it down below for everyone to watch or listen to. It's really good. Thanks. Thanks. First, First episode was about single dating, engaged, mm -hmm. and married. So it's, kind it's a of good on one. Theme. Yeah, kind of on theme with this whole thing. So definitely go listen to that down below. Why was that swallow so? <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. My swallow is so swallowy. Like it was like. Oh, you didn't oh. even think about it until you said it. Why is it always like when you're nervous? Your oh, swallows yeah. are like more. Like, and like my spit. Yeah, and my underboob sweat is underboobing. <sighs> okay, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Let us know your thoughts about all the subjects down below so we can communicate with you. And mm -hmm. see you guys in my very next video. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so cute.